In this problem, we're going to verify De Morgan's law using truth tables. De Morgan's law says if you negate uh, P and Q, that's the same as uh, not P or not Q. Let's go ahead and do it by using truth tables. We're going to make a truth table, and then we'll look at the truth values of the left-hand side and compare them to the truth values of the right-hand side. And they have to be exactly the same. And once we verify that, then we have verified De Morgan's law. So let's start by listing all the possible truth values for P and Q. So we have P and Q. And then in order to uh, arrive at both of these things, we're going to need uh, quite a few things. So we'll need not P. We'll also need not Q. And we'll also need uh, P and Q. We'll need that for the left-hand side. And now at the end here, we can go ahead and write the final uh, statements. So I'll go ahead and write not P and Q. And then the very last one on the right-hand side would be not P or not Q. Okay, let's start by listing the possible truth values. So one simple case is where P and Q are both true. Uh, another case would be if P is true and Q is false. Then another case is if P is false and Q is true. And the very last case is if they're both uh, false. And let's just work vertically. Let's just work on each one and go vertically. So not P is the negation of P. So it just takes on the opposite truth value uh, that P takes on. So we'll just get false, false, true, and then true, right? Just switching the truth value for P. Not Q, again, we'll just switch the truth value for Q. So true becomes false, false becomes true, true becomes false, false becomes true. For P and Q, we just have to look at the columns for P and Q. Recall that P and Q will only be true when both P and Q are true. Otherwise, it's false. So the only case when they're both true is the first case. That we have true and true. So this is true. The rest of these have uh, at least one instance, instance of false. So false, false, and the last case, they're both false. That makes it super false <laughs> or just false. The negation of P and Q takes on the opposite truth value, so you just switch it so true becomes false, false becomes true, true, and then true here as well, just switching them. And the last case, not P or not Q, this will be true when at least one of these is true. So we look at the columns that contain not P and not Q, and as long as one of them is true, it's true. So here they're both false, so this will be false, here we have true, true, and then we have some trues in the bottom, so these are all true. And look at this. These are exactly the same, right? Row by row, false, false, true, true, false, true, true, false, false. We're good. So these are logically equivalent, right? So we have verified uh, De Morgan's laws. A oh, law. There's two of them. Um, this is extremely useful. De Morgan's law is extremely useful, and it's really easy to memorize. It's kind of like the negation distributes over the the conjunction and turns it into a disjunction, right? So this becomes this. You get not P or not Q. Totally worth um, memorizing, and eventually you will. I hope this video has been helpful.